names that uh, promote, we think, courage and bravery and hard work. But there's more to the history of these things than, than we know. And we're going to get into that now when it comes to knights. So there were, there's actually two different stories to the, to the Crusades. And there's truth to both of them. There were actually seven different Crusades and tens of thousands of people died in them. Initially, though, they were a response to 400 years of Muslim expansionism and conquest and the spreading of their religion uh, and many atrocities perpetrated by Muslims in this because this is the way that they were taught to spread their religion. And there was then a request from Christians in in the east, uh, sort of from uh, Turkey and east in our modern day geography, for Christians in the west to come and help them and save them from being totally taken over by Islam. Unfortunately, the answers to these requests were what we call the Crusades, and most of them ended up being a misdirected attempt to retake and free the Holy Land. There were some positive aspects to them, but basically they were an atrocity over a couple hundred of years. From a more positive side of things, the historian Rodney Stark summarizes it. And he's the guy that I first began reading about this uh, more than 15 years ago. And uh, Stark was an agnostic at the time that he was uh, beginning his, his research into this. He eventually became a Christian and eventually a Catholic as a result of his research into the history of Christianity. But here's what he says. The Crusades were not unprovoked. They were not the first round of European colonialism. They were not conducted for land, loot, or converts. The Crusaders were not barbarians who victimized the cultivated and sophisticated Muslims. The Crusades are not a blot on the history of Christianity. No apologies are required. I agree with that up until the last two sentences. <laughs> it's true. Um, the positive things that he said, or, or, or the, the negative things that he said they were not. But to say that they were not a blot on the history of Christianity, I can no longer say that. To say that there no apologies are required, I can no longer say that. That is only one way to look at the story, and, and, and an accurate way up to a certain point. He does break uh, or bust some important myths, Stark does. And, th and that's important. Uh, but on the other hand, I think he went a bit too far. Sorry, Kurt, go ahead. Yeah, um, I think it's important to uh, that people realize that at this point in history, the church and the state were inextricably entwined. So when we're talking about the Crusades, we're not just talking about the church here decides to do such and such. Nor are we talking about the state here decides to do such and such. But it's actually... An entwinement of the two. And a, and a very, lot of very strange entwinement that was evolving yeah. back and forth. Yeah. 